Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Today's shave is brought to us by Ombre's Spaghetti Western. This is made by CBL Soaps. Fine stuff. This is my second try with this. And uh, this is a perfect day for it. It's kind of rainy outside, and I've been watching westerns this morning. Uh, wagon Train and uh, one episode of The Rifleman. Uh, those are some favorite old TV westerns that I like to watch. Uh, we're using the uh, Razor Rock uh, Razor Rock 400 and uh, today's razor is a uh, hollow ground uh, red red imp. My my other red imp is a semi uh, semi wedge, and this one, or I'd say maybe it's a half hollow. This one is a little bit more. It's got a nice hollow ground to it. This was a very substandard edge a couple days ago, and I gave her the business with the with the jasper stone. Most of it was just with water. So it wasn't far off, but for some reason it was performing very suboptimally. So I, under running water, just kind of had at it until the uh, razor started to chatter. And then uh, gave it some stropping, and it appears to be pretty satisfactory, but I won't know until we actually try it. And then, then we'll know. Oh, yeah. I noticed after my last, our last shave together that it didn't, it didn't last very long either that or my whiskers are going a lot faster. And that could be too. At my age I don't see why that would be the case. but. if I don't have a whole lot to talk and jabber in here I should be keeping you entertained in some way you guys probably are entertained at, uh, by death defying acts of Naked Edge, although we're doing pretty good. This channel has been growing a little bit, kind of slow at a time, but the majority of my views are for from people who aren't subscribed to this channel, but it's fine. Mostly I do this to entertain myself and keep me out of trouble and off the streets. But it would be fun to be a, a little bit more influential on the famous algorithm. It, uh,
nickel or two from YouTube to you know buy more soaps to keep you guys more entertained. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, I can dream. I'll do my thing. In the meantime, I'm having a lot good time with this. The razor's doing far better than it did before. I did a uh, hanging hair, and it was weird with the hanging hair test. It worked good cutting one way, but then you cut the other way, it wouldn't. So I told me that the bevel was off. So I reset the bevel and then just used a wet, wet jasper. Didn't take real long for it to uh, come up with uh, a much better edge. So what is this chatter you speak of, Rich? Funny you should ask. Yeah, as you're doing your finishing passes on the whetstone, you get to a point where the scratches that the, that the stone is making on the steel are so minimal that it's really starts to grip on the stone. If you're going slower it would feel like when you're dragging the stone across the or the blade across the stone and you're just just using your fingertips just it'll feel like it's trying to bind up on there. And knowing myself I tend to be a little more rapid paced than when I'm when I'm honing. Instead of gripping it kind of chatters. Tell me that the stone has no more to give me. And uh That's when I bring it off and hit it with the pasted strop. I have a uh, bottle here of where is it? Diamond Diamond Spray. He's in used in uh, lapidary you kind of squirt a little bit of this on the wheel to get to polish the little stone just to kind of make the scratches even smaller so I put that on the strop and it just kind of polishes the, the very edge and uh, it's kind of like the final step for me when I'm honing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, dadgummit. A little bit right here. Nah, I'm just going to let the vector do the work. You know, when you're doing here and here, this transition, because it's rounded and my face is not shaped like a box, uh, a little nervous with the naked blade to hit that angle, but it's just fine with the vector. And I am perfectly smooth now. Well, let's, let's check and see how we did, because when you got a new blade or a new edge, might as well just test it for all things. 
see how it feels, get some feedback. A little bit of a burn, a couple little spots, but nothing that's out of the ordinary. I'd say that's pretty good, pretty well done. Okay. Let's give ourselves a little dose of a Thayer's lemon. drying up. Maybe I'll kind of put the soap dish in the water there and dissolve the extra soap to kind of recap what we were using today. We used uh, Ombre's Spaghetti Western which is Ombre's the second formula. It's a little bit more leather in the mix. We used a Razor Rock uh, 400 which is this, uh, a rubber set uh, tribute solid aluminum thing as heavy as can be works great synthetic which is what I tend to grab more we used our uh, red imp but not in a red scales he's been rescaled at some point along the line is it made by case it's, it's a good great edge if you guys uh who are looking for beginner equipment? That's one. If you run across them, grab them. They're great. We're going to use the aftershave now. This is an aftershave milk or a tonic. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot. Get a little, kind of like first doses of Tabasco, just put a little bit on. Not a lot of alcohol sting. A nice leather scent. And it's good skin food. But that's pretty much all we have today. But it's great for you guys to come along. I'm Major Rich. And you will find me on theshavingcadre.com. If you're finding me on the uh, YouTubes. And you know what to do down there. If you wouldn't mind, that'd be great. Kind of build me up a little bit. To keep this thing going. Thanks a lot for coming, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.